Hey, it's Dan. You're watching I Allegedly, and I've got a fantastic one for you today because I've got something that's absolutely amazing, and that is a tax credit for self-employed people, which I will explain to you. I'm going to cover four or five grants and give you updates on that stuff. Uh, please, before I get into it, please like this video. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, uh, the bell notification so you get notified on everything that we're doing, and uh, let's get into it. Um, one thing with the CARES Act that is absolutely amazing is that a lot of us were affected and were locked down, okay? If you work for a large company, you get sick days. And uh, those of us that are self-employed, gig workers, consultants, real estate agents, whatever you are, you're entitled to sick pay. And this is absolutely amazing because I verified this with an accountant today and we uh, talked about it and explained it to me in great detail, but this covers sick pay for individuals who are self-employed and gig workers for up to 10 days. And not only is it deductible, it's a refundable tax credit. Let me explain it to you. First things first, I'm not an accountant and I don't play one on TV. I'm going to make the recommendation that you speak to your accountant your CPA, your tax preparer to make sure that you qualify for this. And uh, when the first CARES Act, the first one, was issued, uh, they had all these tax credits in there and we all thought of them that they're all for big companies. Well, there was one hidden in there for self-employed people that lost income from not being able to work. Gig workers, consultants, whoever you are and you are self-employed, you're eligible for this. And this came from the Family First uh, Coronavirus uh, Act, okay, which I've never heard of that before, but it's awesome. So what this does is this gives you a way of taking sick days, up to 10 sick days from 2020. And it, it's absolutely amazing because you can get up to $511 credit per day for those 10 days or $5,100 which again is insane, it's a ton of money. So here's who's eligible for this. You are subject to quarantine. This includes shelter in place orders, like here in California. Uh, your doctor or health provider tells you to self quarantine because they may believe that you had the Rony Rona. Uh, you got the Rice Rony uh, coronavirus. Uh, you need to care for a loved one. You have children that have lost childcare due to uh, being, you know, loss of daycare, having to stay home from school. I mean, this is unbelievable. This pretty much covers everybody when you think about this. I mean, you know, here in California, we had, we've had several lockdowns, but the first one was a full two weeks that was extended, 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 and then, you know, you could see the light of day. But it, this is, this covers a lot of people. So um, there is a form. Form 7202 with the IRS, which I will show you here. Now, here it is. This is Form 7202. Now, the cool thing about this, I spoke to the accountant, and uh, he said a lot of forms and things get issued in draft form, and then in January, they issue the actual form. But this is the instructions that are available for the accountants that are in draft form as of the 30th. This will be implemented shortly and you'll be able to take advantage of this. Now the cool thing with this is that this is not just a tax credit. I'll give you an example and this was explained to me today by the CPA. A tax credit, you buy solar and you put it on your house and they give you a $15,000 tax credit. Well that tax credit, let's say you only have $5,000 in tax liability, you can use a certain percentage for three years because it's five thousand or five thousand this year and carry it over for the, the remaining years. This is a refundable tax credit where you can get the 10 days if you're owed money refunded to you. So you can get up to fifty one hundred dollars back with this tax credit. So this is based on your income uh, divided by two hundred and sixtieth. Two hundred and sixty. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, take a look at it, talk to your CPA. Tell them about uh, Form 7202 and uh, see what your accountant or tax professional has to say, but there's gonna be a lot of happy people with this one because this is super cool. Now, I've got 
uh, four new grants for you right now and an update on some other stuff, but let's take a look at the new grants. Now up first is the Indiana Restart Program. This is a fund to restart businesses. They've got a grant program where you can get between ten dollars and $50,000 for your business, but the best part is they extended the application through the 22nd of January 2021. So if you or anybody you know is in the state of Indiana, you can get this money. Pretty simple application, you know, monthly profit and loss for last year, this year. Application itself is pretty easy. I mean, I love these drag and drop type things like this. Look at this. You just walk through, answer all the questions, and you could have $10,000. But the best part is not enough businesses have applied for this. So if you or anybody you know is in Indiana, send it their way and get some money. Good luck. Now, this is absolutely amazing. This is a grant for households and individuals. This is for San Joaquin County where you can get up to $5,000 per household to pay bills, rent, mortgages, utilities, electricity, natural gas. Okay, this thing is absolutely amazing. You can even get your landlord to participate or do it on your own. Application process is pretty simple. You've got a grant program. You can use it for your business. You can use it for your household. This is absolutely the best type of grant that there is because it's designed to help everybody, whether you're a business that's struggling or your family's struggling. You can get access to this money from San Joaquin County. Good luck. You or anybody you know that's in San Joaquin County, share it with them. Now, this is huge. This is that California business grant where you can get between five and 25 grand based on the size of your company. And uh, the application for this has been extended through January 13th for the first round. You can apply through the county. You can apply on your own. The deadline's the 13th. And uh, basically, I mean, even gig workers can get this thing. So again, if you have up to 100,000 in sales, you can get five grand. If you had up to a million dollars in sales, you can get $15,000. So all the eligible business, I mean, small business, 1099 workers even. So this is out there. And through the 13th, you can apply for this money. It's gonna come directly from the state. You have to have a physical location. Now, the city of El Paso, Texas, just announced a brand new grant program and small business loan program to help nonprofits and businesses in the El Paso area. This is absolutely amazing. They've got a total of $10 million that you can get your hands on to help your business. The grant is a grant that does not have to be paid back. They've also got these loan programs too, where you can get up to 125 grand, smaller loans for 10,000 bucks, just take a look at this. I mean, this is really, really cool uh, that they have this because it's really going to get this money to the people that need it quickly. Grant programs available immediately. You can apply between now and March 15th. And then after March 15th, the money is going to be open to a larger group of people if it's not given out. Good luck. Those were amazing grants. There's so many things that are going to come out shortly. What you have is a lot of municipalities, states, counties, whatever, that thought that they had you know, allocated all their, their uh, money and they haven't. Uh, I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. Uh, Hoganville, Georgia uh, had um, 100 applications over what they thought uh, they needed for all their grants. Problem was, all these people didn't qualify. A huge percentage, like 80 plus people that, that applied, didn't have business license in the city, so they, they're ineligible. Um, Santa Clara County here in California, they've got a, a, a loan program that they've just announced that they've extended because not enough people have taken the business loan. So if you know of anybody in Santa Clara County, have them take a look at that. Uh, Michigan, um, they have this new grant program that everybody keeps asking about. That got postponed until January 14th. So you're gonna see things like this happen. With the new administration, with the CARES Act money, or the second CARES, whatever they call the second, uh, you know, $900 billion check festival, 
whatever they're gonna call that thing, there's going to be more money for grants and for stimulus programs. Get a hold of these people and uh, sometimes what happens is, you know, you apply for something and you think it's out so you don't apply for it anymore. I'm gonna give you a perfect example of why you need to apply every chance you get. Take a look at this. Now here's another example. The city of Anaheim, California has thousands of restaurants. This is where Disneyland's at. This is where the angels play. You can get a $2,000 grant, but because there's no in restaurant dining, you can't get it right now, but they're still taking applications. You need to fill out this form to get your two grants so that when you reopen, you can cover expenses. Look at this thing. They're taking applications right now. Unbelievable. Eventually, it'll be first come, first serve. Share it with yourself, family members, anybody that's in Anaheim. Good luck. Well, that's it. Now, take the time to talk to your CPA or your accountant and see if you're eligible for this. Because when I spoke to the uh, CPA today, he was like, wow, there's going to be millions of people eligible for this one. So, very cool. But again, you know, look at the qualifications. You saw it on the video. You know, if you qualify for this, talk to your CPA now. Get them on the phone and say, am I eligible for this? Can I get this credit? How is it going to work? And plan for that. Plan for a good 2021, okay? Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification, join our email list, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.